All right, a little bit of uh, Dubai UAE news update. Um, this was actually shared with me a few days ago, but uh, I wanted to make sure the information was right. So whenever I get information, I cross check with other people and then I evaluate because across the board, you will not get everyone saying the same thing. And especially if something is not mentioned in the media, you know, it's hard to verify unless the person you're speaking to is a credible source. Okay, so take it with a pinch of salt and uh, you feel free to disagree. Okay. Uh, as most of you know that there has been a boom in the number of jobs and number of people applying for jobs. Uh, so obviously, from compared to what it was before, many new jobs have popped up. Many new projects have come. People are very busy. Uh, you know, businessmen want to grow their business. They want to get a better share. Investors have come in from other countries, especially Russia and uh, Ukraine and Europe. Many people have come with lots of money. And that's why the property boom is like crazy. And uh, that's why rents are increasing because now there's a demand. But Dubai, if you see through the 40, 50 years of the ups and downs, when there's a down, there's an up. But when there's an up, the problem is people's greed takes on a whole new meaning. I mean, they live with a scarcity mindset that I need to make the money now. I need to make, you know, make hay when the sun shines. So because of that, because of the craziness of uh, wanting to make money, they hike up prices. Prices of the rent, prices of uh, products, prices of services. Uh, and then, uh, you know, the government also is like, we need a share of the pie. So taxes, and by the way, uh, income tax is being discussed heavily. Huh? Income tax is being discussed very aggressively because they've got a taste for value added tax. They realized, hmm, it's good. Extra money doesn't hurt. Then they started taxing <coughs> other things small without giving the name tax. You have to pay this charge. You see, even if they charge 10 bucks, just imagine 10 bucks, 10 dirhams per person, 9 million people. If you charge 10 bucks per person per month, 9 million people, it's 90 million, right? 90 million is not small. And if every month you get 90 million, I mean, it solves a lot of issues. The country has to run in Dubai. There is no oil based revenue. They live on tourism. They live on people coming in. They live off high net worth individuals spending money. So income tax is being discussed very heavily. And like how they introduced Salik, like how they introduced value added tax, they will start with a very small amount, so small that you would not even complain. Like they'll say 1%, 1% 1 tax. Nobody is going to complain, right? They'll say, see back home, you have to pay 45% tax or 50% tax like in Denmark. So if they say 1%, you'll not complain. So I'm not saying they'll do 1%. They might do 5%. This is only 5% of certain category of workers. They let people get used to it. Then when people are come, slowly they'll increase. Okay, next category. Okay, we are targeting if you're earning 100,000 a month. Okay, the 80,000 have to pay 3% or 4%. You know, they have their ways. <coughs> like when they started Salik, it was only two toll gates, just two. Uh, I think it was four bucks, just, you know, entry and, and four times a day. After that, fifth time is for, was for free. And they swore on their mother, father, their God and their life. We're not going to have more Salik. We're not going to increase the charges. Today, check how many Salik gates are there. Check how, how much you have to pay. And it's... <coughs> before they had holidays, no, it's for free. Now they have even on holidays. Before they had only four times you have to pay. After that, we stop. Now, never ending. They, they even made big promises, which people forgot. Once we introduce Salik, traffic is going to reduce like crazy and uh, you're going to see so much improvement. They made so many promises. Who's there to uh, hold them accountable? People forget. 
so income tax okay <coughs> it will happen when it's a matter of when okay and you can be rest assured the minute the dose has been put it's going to start spreading over the period of time obviously you'll say ah man 5% what the hell i'm earning 20000 5 and take it here yeah. <coughs> if you're earning good money you don't have to worry but remember it's not just one thing it's many things in there's a chinese saying no uh, death by a thousand cuts one cut will not do anything many many cuts and remember if they take 1 2 3 4 5 they keep taking 1 1 1 1 1 <coughs> you will feel it now the second uh, issue or the important issue that i want to share with you is because of the price rise the increase in expenses the cost of living companies are going to start re either reducing staff because salary is a massive overhead they're going to start reducing staff or they'll pressurize the existing staff <coughs> with increased targets like i can't give you <coughs> <coughs> i can't give the actual example because the person said not to think your target was 21 okay say 21 customers now they said 28 is the minimum you don't achieve 28 bye bye and very soon from 28 i know they'll go to even more they might say tomorrow 32 say that's a new normal okay and then the third strategy which companies always uses before that uh, say 10 people <coughs> 10 people doing a job now they'll reduce the staff to 6 people and you have to do the job of 10 people and they'll say don't leave and go and they'll increase your salary by such a small amount <coughs> the company will not feel the difference but for you your time see remember you can buy money you can earn time you cannot and the more time you have to spend in the office, the more stressful it will be. Okay. <coughs> the next point that I want you to keep in mind is, uh, for some reason, there is this absolute pressure by the government to employ Emiratis. Absolute pressure. One of my friends said uh, uh, they have been given a target of 24,000 Emiratis have to be employed. Now, I do not know whether it is 24,000 in the Emirate whichever emirate or 24,000 in that massive group <coughs> that company but 24,000 and then when I verified with my other friends they said yeah man if we cross let's say the threshold of 50 employees then you have to take two locals so we are making from 50 we are cutting down to 48 or we are cutting down to 43 and uh, we are playing with the loopholes of the system <laughs> that's another thing so what will happen is it'll be competitive in nature and when you have people losing their jobs which will happen obviously can't mention on social media these very same people initially they will have their nose up in the air if they're getting 10,000 they'll say I want uh, 12,000 uh, but companies you know companies are not dying for you they are not it's like if you're not there they're going to shut down they don't give a damn, yeah. The HR person who's interviewing doesn't care whether the company succeeds his company or you. So he'll just try to do his part of the job and show the company. You wanted someone for 10,000, I managed to get 8,000. See, give me a pat on my shoulder. I'm so resourceful. So you might ask, 10, you are getting 10,000. You'll hope for 15. You'll think, I'll bargain for 12. But then you realize after one month, two month, three months, five months, six months, nothing's coming, then you'll say, okay, give me 10,000 here. But then when they don't give you even the 10,000, then what do you do? You have to go back, right? So then you'll say, okay, for now, out of desperation, I'll take 9,000, 8,000. And that affects the market. And also keep this in mind, nowadays it's easy, before, when you had a visa and they canceled it, for you to get a visit visa was limited time. Now they're even selling visas where you can buy the visa, you can take either a business visa, free zone visa, investor visa, not investor, mostly you will not take, say tourist visa, some some kind of visa, Some there are so many options, because they want you to stay in the country and spend money. 
the more you spend <coughs> the better it is for them no so they'll be very happy spend all your money here and they have also realized by you going back <coughs> it doesn't benefit the economy so you offer certain value through your experience expertise stay here but spend money and i'll tell you if you you know for those who get a salary end of every month you don't realize but when you stop earning a salary guaranteed income every month and your expenses remain the same it is it is a big problem yeah you do not know the value until you lose your job and uh, last if not the least the number of <coughs> clowns and idiots who i don't know is it arrogance is it ignorance is it stupidity is it lack of common sense people are asking salary <laughs> salaries positions <coughs> people are going mad i had a guy 5000 is getting 5000 he asked me can you rebrand my resume okay what's the salary you're looking for from 5000 is going he wants 20000 or 25000 Does it does it even make sense? From five thousand, you want a twenty-five thousand or twenty thousand? What are you talking? What are you smoking, man? No, no, no! I deserve it. And then you get people who use Chat GPT and I don't know. Is it a resume? Is it a wow? I have to use. You know, sometimes when I look at the this thing, I'm like, wow, God's gift to mankind, yeah. <laughs> and then when you speak to him. Like you know, I normally say, I spoke to Ramu in the village. It should match your personality, boss. What are you doing? <sighs> anyway, that chaos is also there. See, and one final thing is, lot of companies. I don't know why they are faking job vacancies. Plenty of them are faking job vacancies. How I know this? One particular company. I have my friends. Some of them, they put bloody hell so many vacancies. I cross check with them. They say, no man, it's it's bull. they just want to put it so that they want to see if they get anyone worthwhile they'll keep them in the database just imagine if 100 companies did the same it looks so ho- hopeful right before it was recruitment agencies now actual companies are doing that fake jobs <coughs> i don't know maybe they want to show that we are still growing or anyway so this is what i wanted to share with you and uh, You let me know your thoughts. Whether you agree, disagree, feel free. And remember, it's uh, survival of the fittest. End of the day, it's how much savings you have, not how much money you make. Savings, and how much you're growing. If you're stagnated in one company more than three or five years, you're, you're going to be there for the rest of your life. I'll write and give it to you. So get out of your comfort zone. Get trained. Get rebranded properly. If not me, somebody else. Grow. End of the day, make your money. You have come to that country for what? You're in love with that country, or you want to make your money? All right. <coughs> you guys take care. Comment down below. This is me signing off.